Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the month of January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Capricorn, this is a Love Connection reading, so you have to have an actual connection with someone. You don't necessarily have to be committed or serious, but as long as it's a mutual connection of some kind, can be any kind of connection. They have to know who you are, you know who they are. If you like somebody, they don't know who you are, then you may want to watch the singles reading I do every month, and maybe your your and excuse me, your energy will be in those readings. So let's see what we have for you, Capricorn. And this is data for January, but I do consider all my readings timeless. So this is for whenever you see this, tell whenever. And if you'd like to go back and watch past playlists, uh, your Capricorn playlists are down below in the description box and there's tons of stuff down there if you wish to go check that out uh personal reading information decks i'm using social media i do readings on instagram tons of stuff down there all right so the first thing i'm going to do here capricorn this is a zodiac oracle so we could get a sign element or planet so whatever comes out here if you don't resonate with this that's totally fine it's sort of like a little bonus so let's see what we have for capricorn for january we'll just say at this time Wow, okay, well that one went flying. So let's see, went on the floor, hold on. So we have ear, so you could be dealing with an ear sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And the ear energy is all about truthful communication, um, truth, clarity, mental clarity, thoughts, imagination, ideas, um, and that kind of energy. S you know, speaking up with truth and clarity, uh, honest communication, kind of, you know, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, not taking any BS, is all in that air energy, all with the mind and communication. So let's see what that's about for you, Capricorn, you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time, Capricorn. So welcome, Capricorn, and uh, this will be out before Christmas, so... Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year if you celebrate the holidays, and I hope everybody's doing well. All right, Cappy Cappies. Let's see. I'm going to get a love energy first thing here uh, between you and your person, where we are thinking about at this time. Ooh, we have Blossom. So I do believe this is the Judgment card. So this is about... Um, it's a judgment. This deck is a little bit different, but this is judgment. So this is about resurrection of things. This is about um, faith and healing, and it's about forgiveness. And it can be about reuniting, coming back together, or making a judgment call here with Blossom. Just let me double check. I'm pretty sure that is um, judgment. Yeah. So, and that's Scorpio energy, but it doesn't have to be. So, yeah, something could be resurrecting here or, you know, forgiveness or people coming back together or somebody, you know, making a final judgment call about something. But I see a lot of fiery, passionate energy, a lot of growth and expansion with the greenery there. So something could be coming back around that's very fiery, passionate, and now there's like a lot of um, growth and expansion also, like things coming full circle because you see that circular energy there. And 22, uh, 20 reduces to 2, which is about unity. And air is 25, which is 7. And that's all about um, spiritual energy. And it's about divinely guided energy. Capricorn, you're 10. Tens are endings, but then there's always a new beginning. So I don't know. We'll see what's going on here. So what I'm going to do, Capricorn, is... Okay, that one wanted to come out. All right. So, yeah. Wow. So we're going to get... Um, okay. Your energy, their energy, about the connect, about each other, the connection. But if you feel at any time the roles are reversed, please do that. Um, flip flop, switch the energies anywhere you see fit. Only take what resonates. All right, so you're coming out as a rebuild here, which is sixteen, which is the tower energy. So, and I have felt that something rebuilding, coming back together, um, something reuniting. You know, something may have ended, may have ended with the tower energy here. I'm pretty sure that's the tower. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so something may have come crumbling down or there might have been a shakeup or something, but 
you know, now rebuilding. It's like healing hearts here, you know, forgiveness and healing and something rebuilding and blossoming again. Truth, clarity with the air energy. And then we have heal. Wow, 17. And this is the star energy. So, wow, healing and forgiveness and rebuilding. Faith, hope, optimism. So they're coming out. Um, your energy is in Aries. Uh, that's the tower. And they're coming out as Aquarius with heal. So, I mean, and that is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But over there we have Scorpio. But, I mean, it could be anybody here. But, wow, I just know 16, 17. Wow. So, yeah, healing, rebuilding. Wow. So something being healed and rebuilt here, coming back together. You know, blossoming once again, growth, expanse, expansion. It's like fire igniting again, passion. Wow, okay, uniting, coming back together, brand new beginning, divinely guided energy with the star. Wow, so it's like the mutual energy between, between you as both healing hearts here. Wow, okay. Why am I shuffling this deck? I'm supposed to go over the bottom of the deck, but I guess I was meant to shuffle it, so... Choose your battle, seven of wands energy here. So that's, you know, about being defensive on guard, putting up a stance, you know, standing up for what you believe in, fighting for something. So I think you're, you're, you're like fighting for this connection again, like truth and clarity coming in. You know, whatever happened here, whatever crumbled down, whatever shakeup there was, whatever caused this tower moment between the two of you, I feel like there's healing, there's rebuilding. Things are passionate and fiery, uh, clarity, there's a growth, abundance once again, people coming back into union. Wow, that's a nice energy. So let's see what's going on here with the tarot. Decks are listed below if you're interested in what decks I'm using. Tons of stuff down there in the description box. So you can check that out if you like to. I don't know if I just mentioned that. Uh, personal reading information, social media. I do readings on Instagram. Tons of stuff, so you can check that out if you like to. And your playlists are also down there. All right, so let's clarify here. Rebuild for Capricorn. What is this about? A Capricorn spirit, please. Thank you. So okay, well, I guess these are your cards. The High Priestess. So this is, you know, listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, um, really being divinely, spiritually connected, but doesn't really say much. So there may have been a secret here that you found out about with your person that caused this tower moment, or you had a secret they found out about that caused a tower moment. Somebody you might have had a secret here caused a tower moment. So let's see. The devil, toxic energy here, right? So it could have been them. Um, and it doesn't have to be um, another person. I mean, maybe you found out they were cheating or maybe you found out, okay, they, they're drinking too much or they're doing drugs or they have an addiction, of, an obsession or something like that with that devil energy. So it doesn't have to be like, another person it could be just an obsession addiction or something like that that was affecting them and you know maybe they were trying to hide it but I feel like you know with the truth and clarity there I think you know in the high priestess is about secrets I think something came to light here but I do see healing and things coming back together so let's clarify these cards why is the high priestess here for Capricorn why is the high priestess here you might have found fire might have found out something through like an email or a letter or a note or like a text or something online or something like that or found something rolled up <laughs> if that makes any sense and you're like well what's this you know okay so let's clarify let's clarify here for Capricorn yeah, put this, this, this there. Two of Pentacles. So this is an energy of, um, you know, juggling things around, um, feeling imbalanced. So I, I'm, I'm sensing you felt something wasn't right. You felt something was going on. Something wasn't right with your person and your situation. Things weren't like they used to be. And you felt like things were out of sorts. Um, 
that's what I'm getting with the two of pentacles usually about juggling around responsibilities energies thoughts in your head and that kind of energy but I'm feeling like you felt like something just wasn't right in the situation with your person so the seven of pentacles and I'm getting did they have something hidden like in the backyard or like in the garden or under a tree or buried somewhere or something I, I don't know just kind of weird weird energy I'm getting because I'm looking at like this tree here I was looking at that and that really caught my attention but I didn't say anything and then spirit gave me this card with the tree with the shovel <laughs> so, and that might only be for like two of you but I'm like um okay like were they trying to hide something I feel like they're trying to hide something I really get that energy here and you know really not telling you I feel like they really withdrew their energy from you um because the seven of pentacles is kind of like that energy of like investment but then waiting so I don't know I just feel like they they kind of withdrew from you and I felt like you you didn't know why you're like what's going on and you could sense something wasn't right but some sort of secret came to light here with uh with them with the devil energy some sort of toxic energy whether it was addictions obsessions or something here i'm getting more of like an addiction or obsession or something like that so they might have might have been hiding something from you you know they could have been drinking or doing narcotics or something and trying to hide that maybe they're hiding it in the backyard like burying it under a tree i i don't know <laughs> and you just could sense something wasn't right so let's get the actual situation here so we have the four of swords and the four of wands wow and let's get one more and hang me in here we'll get the trees again or was something hanging in a tree I, I don't know something weird here so yeah they kind of withdrew from you with the hangman energy it's like they withdrew their energy like they weren't like they used to be and you could sense something was off I'm getting like they were high all the time or something and you're like it really affected your marriage your commitment your foundation here and cause like this withdrew withdraw energy again with the four of swords of like maybe they were sleeping a lot or maybe they were like not themselves and you're like something <clears throat> it's just not right here wow okay let's get um let's get a couple more here <clears throat> capricorn yeah they weren't telling you because my throat's getting all <clears throat> blocked and scratched up seven of swords so this is that deceitful sneaky energy yeah so they were hiding something from you they were being sneaky about something but you could sense something was not right but healing and we have healing there so it's coming on their side with the sun energy so yeah i feel like something came to light you found out what they were doing what they were hiding you know like i said i'm, I'm getting like heavy addiction or uh something like that and uh they were trying to hide it from you they would sneak away to go do whatever they were doing and um if it's not like a narcotic or so, it could be anything i mean maybe they're watching porn or maybe they you know something like not good for them anyway that not healthy and i think they were hiding it sneaking away you felt something wasn't right you could feel the imbalance in the energy they kind of were withdrawing withdrawing from you and you could sense that and really affected your commitment your foundation together because we have two cards here the four of swords and the hangman of like that hanging back and retreating kind of energy but i do see here you know healing enlightenment uh, happiness and joy success victory um growth and expansion so yeah I and mean, they got the healing there so i feel whatever whatever happened here came to light was a shake up here but i feel like there's been healing so maybe they had to go into uh, rehab or something if it if it was something like that and i i feel like you know could have been a real battle for them here with choose your battles so let's get uh i feel like they really felt i mean you see the star there but they got chains like shackled to them i don't know if anyone had to go to jail or anything like that but um i felt feel like they really felt chained sh chained and shackled to their addiction all right so let's get your advice here 
So we got the Five of Wands, which is about conflict, uh, competition, inner conflict. But then we have the Queen of Swords, that is that enlightenment energy again, that um, open, honest, truthful communication. The Swords here, you know, cutting away energy, no longer serving, things no longer serving, truthful, honest communication, standing up for what you believe in, not backing down, not taking BS. So, yeah, I really feel like your advice here, or it could, this could be their advice, or just at the advice of the situation is cutting out this internal conflict. So I feel like it's happened already, or they're in the process of doing that. So, yeah, so I feel like uh, cutting out the conflict, that's the advice. So I feel like that's happening now, or just, yeah, so the world... The five of pentacles so yeah cutting out that energy and also again the five of pentacles is about you know being abandoned left out in the cold um kind of energy lack but the world is all about chapters closing and new chapters it's about growth expansion travel so maybe they had to go away for a time to go like maybe to rehab or something like that i have felt that maybe they had to travel away to go heal themselves I think maybe you really felt their loss while they were gone, how much you really missed them. So that's why we have the coming back together here with the judgment, you know, coming, you know, maybe you didn't know whether or not to leave them or stay or whatever, or that, that energy of just making that judgment call of, okay, let's go get this fixed, you know, and that healing energy right there. So, and starting a whole new chapter with this person, whole new cycle. So that's the advice, yeah, is a whole new cycle with this person. And they may have to leave for a time here to go, you know, cut out this internal conflict they're battling within themselves with that sword. Or it's you, <laughs> however the energies are here. But I feel like this will happen, though. This healing will take place. I just got um, kind of a similar reading for... Um, who was it I just did? Um, Taurus. But it was a, just a little bit different, but almost the same thing. All right. So let's see what the possible outcome will be here. So we've got the Two of Swords. So that's indecisive energy. Um, not quite sure what to do. You know, un unable to make a decision about something. So let's see why that's here. That's your possible outcome. So let's see why that's here. What is, what's the indecisive energy about for the possible outcome? Because I do see healing and a rebirth and truth, clarity, you know, rebuilding, healing, things coming back together. The fool, yeah. So maybe undecided whether or not to reset, restart everything back at zero because after the world here, and it's coming, they're coming right together here. So you got the world and then the fool. So right after the world is the fool. So the world, you go through all the cycles of the major arcana and you learn all your lessons and you go through all that, and now you're ready to take a whole new leap of faith and restart, reset at zero, trusting everything will be fine, leaping right in and taking a new start. So maybe you're conflicted about whether or not to, you know, take them back when they come back, or maybe you're conflicted, you know, are they really going to be ready to restart and reset? Are they really resetting at zero? Are they really going to be healed and put this behind them so that we can start over, start fresh and rebuild and heal? All right, so it's too many. Let's get one more for this possible outcome. Ten of Cups, so there you go. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way with your person, your soulmate. Wow, a lot of love and emotion here. Happy home and family. So, yeah, you're indecisive, but I think they're going to come back healed. They're going to put this behind them. You'll be able to take a fresh new start and rebuild. And, and if you do have a family, happiness and joy in every single way, fulfillment and... Uh, in this connection so let's see the knight of swords so rushing rushing in here rushing forward rushing in truth clarity sometimes can be a reckless so you know maybe they did you know when they were in having their issues here they did some things that were kind of reckless and stupid kind of energy with the knight of swords but now they're coming back in a more loving compassionate kind of um energy loving communication apologies no apology Apologizing for the reckless ways from before. Being now in a very loving, now a king. 
loving, compassionate, caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy. Now standing strong, sit, sitting strong in their throne as a king. They went from a knight to a king. Yeah, a lot of stress, worry, anxiety, fear here. Um, and there's the judgment again. Judgment again, shown back up. So again, soulmates coming back together. Forgiveness, resurrection, final decisions here. Blowing the horn here. Bringing the soulmates back together. Stress and worry, you know, is this going to work out? Are they going to overcome this? Are we going to get back together? Are things going to be back like they were? Yep, because they will take control, take lead of their life, their uh, issues here. You know, it's been a battle, struggle, and a fight for them. But they're going into a better place now with the Six of Swords. Very fiery, passionate energy with the King of Wands, Go-Getter energy, and the King of Pentacles. So now they're coming as like three kings. King of Cups, King of Wands, and King of Pentacles. Now they're stable, secure, and grounded. Fiery, passionate, go-getter, ambitious. Going in a much better place, even though they've been through a battle and a struggle. Taking lead, taking control of their life now. Judgment call, soulmates coming back together, even though there was stress and worry. They're in a more loving energy now. Apologies over their reckless energy of the past. Wow. So... <laughs> For the majors in the court cards, we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, we have Scorpio, we have Aries, um, Leo, Sag, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, which is your energy, and then we have Scorpio again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, Aries, Aquarius, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius, Capricorn, Earth signs, wow, um, Leo, I mean, we have like almost all the signs here, but wow, okay, so, wow, Capricorn, okay, Capricorn, I'm going to get some messages from uh, this deck, but I do ask if you like how I read, to please uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, I love to read the comments, hit the bell, you'll be notified, you won't miss out, I do four different readings a month, they're all different. And I do a lot of bonus readings, so if you um, do, don't, you won't miss out on that. If you hit the bell, if you do, thank you so much. Thank you to everybody who supported me in the channel, whether you reached out for personal reading or donated through PayPal or just subscribed. Thank you to everybody. I couldn't do it without you, so thank you so much for all your support. Wow. I guess that's your message. Remember it? So, yeah, remembering here in 11, it could be Twin Flame here. 11 is half of the Twin Flame number. And then 11 is 2 is about unity. 11 is going on the right path, being on the right path, going in the right direction. So remember, it's remembering the good times, remembering how it was before, not giving up on that. Wow. Okay. All right. So now we have Soul Song 41, which is 5. 5 is about change. So I do feel like things are changing here. Soul song, it's like your souls are now going to sing like the same song <laughs> or be in sync again like they were before. And on the bottom of the deck, we have grounding. Yeah, so I do feel like six there, they're going into a more healing, balancing place with the six and grounding, being very secure, um, stable, grounded kind of energy, healing, growth, expansion, and really coming back like, like they were before, like how you remember them with remembrance there. Wow. Okay, Capricorn. So good luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.